Hi, uh, this is Frank Cho, and welcome to my drawing demo. Uh, I will be drawing a Harlequin uh, live today. So this is, I'm trying something new. Uh, this is a brand new uh, uh, live uh, video. Uh, I actually got tired of uh, using the GoPro. Uh, I actually had a tough time figuring out how to, um, how to make the video longer. So anyway, so uh, I'm gonna draw Harlequin live. Uh, this is the next cover to Harlequin, uh, which is actually due uh, Monday. So bear with me. Uh, this is uh, the first live stream that I'm doing right now. All right. Uh, okay, so got a sheet of paper. Uh, this is a 19 by 24 inch uh, uh, Bristle board, Stratmore bristle board, and I am using a regular uh, mechanical pencil. Uh, this is a Pentel mechanical pencil. Okay, so so this Harley Quinn that I'm drawing is a uh, April uh, cover, so I'm gonna try to. Um, do um, a uh, um, Halloween, not Halloween, a uh, Easter theme. So bear with me. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying to uh, stay in the frame and draw at the same time. So. So I guess there's a chat feature uh, here. Uh, okay, so a lot of people are chatting with me right now. Sorry, I'm just one guy, so uh, if I can't answer you guys. Um, okay. So when I draw, I actually do a lot of erasing uh, because the, the initial figure is never right. So I just wanna make uh, Harley kinda, since this is an Easter theme, I'm trying to have Harley uh, sit on a big giant Easter egg uh, in a, with her uh, in a bunny costume, kind of. So I'm roughing out the figure right now. If you can see that. Like I said, she'll be sitting on a big giant egg in a bunny costume. Okay. All right, so I'm just reading the comments. Thank you, everyone, for uh, buying my book. Here's the funny part. I'm actually live streaming this, and I realize I don't know how to end it. I don't know which button to push uh, to end the live stream. <laughs> so, all right, let me see if there's like a option. Okay. All right. All righty. So yeah, if you guys, anyone who's commenting, just let me know how to stop the live stream when I'm done. Tell me which button to push. 
<laughs> so I have the complete opposite problem of the GoPro. GoPro, I can, uh, I would go on for a long time and then, uh, and the GoPro would uh, actually uh, cut my video uh, into eight minute segment. While I guess with this one, I guess I can keep going, but I realize that uh, there isn't uh, uh, there isn't a uh, not that I can see on the screen uh, a button that can stop this uh, streaming. I guess I'll figure that out once I finish drawing. So, all right. So you guys were probably stuck with me for another hour as I draw the figure. So I'm gonna just pencil the figure uh, now uh, because inking. I need a very stable flat surface, and I'm just drawing this on a lap board. Now, a lap board is just basically a big giant piece of masonite board. Um, um, that you can have. So what I have, my lap board is uh, store bought. You can see, but it's essentially a big giant masonite board. So, okay. So. All right. Yes, I know the camera is facing the wrong way. Uh, I haven't figured out how to get a secondary camera to shoot the uh, um, the drawing. So I will be flipping the page uh, as I'm going along. So that's where I'm at now. So she's sitting on a big giant egg. So this is a very loose drawing. Um, this is actually is kind of uh, nerve wracking right now because I am drawing live without safety net. So if I screw up, uh, I'm gonna screw up in front of everyone. I'm actually trying to get like a like a video tech guy out to my place to help me set up a uh, uh, like a camera studio so they can film everything that I do. But unfortunately, um, the couple of guys who promised me they'll help me out they kind of ghosted me. Uh, so I'm getting a little frustrated. So I really don't know who to contact. So if you guys know anyone. Who wants to come to my house and set up the video camera? Uh, let me know, and uh, I will pay you guys with money or with a drawing. So, all right. Greetings from Argentina. Hey. Sorry, I'm just kind of like split. Uh, I'm looking at the drawing and I'm looking at the, the comments and I'm looking at the, the lighting and the camera. So it's a little bit, uh, I'm being pulled in like five different directions here. Uh, so. I didn't even check the sound uh, because I just basically got on my YouTube channel and there was like a live stream um, option and I just clicked it and uh, basically just took off from there. Uh, I didn't 
I don't even know how I sound on uh, live right now. I don't know even know where the mic is. Uh, so I have a Apple, uh, Apple Pro that has all everything built in, but I have no idea where the mic is. There's the video camera. Um, but uh, other than that, I have no idea where the mic is. So, okay. All right, so the art chemist saying that I sound clear, so that's good. All right. Sure. I want to ask to flip. So this is where I'm at. So I'm going to try to flip the image. Uh, sorry for the slight distortion because the camera is at an angle. So she's sitting on a giant egg. Right. So I'm using a um, uh, need eraser. Uh, the paper, like I said, is um, 19 by 24 inches. Uh, I like to draw on big paper, and then once I have the, so it give me room to draw all over the place. And then usually I sometimes would cut the paper to center the image. So I I have a hard time drawing on a regular 11 by 17 paper um, it's just the comfort level I my comfort level in drawing is is big All right, so. favorite for snapple snapple diet peach all right How do I scan something that big? I actually scanned it, scan it in multiple pieces, uh, and then in Photoshop. So they have an option in Photoshop that has photo merge. So once you have scan all the pieces in the oval in overlapping pieces, and you uh, basically uh, stitch it all to get stitch it all together in Photoshop. So I guess I should have watched a tutorial on how to live stream on YouTube before I actually <laughs> jump in the deep end. <laughs> so, all right. Hope you guys had a great uh, Christmas and New Year and a happy holidays. Um, I actually, uh, the Christmas season, Christmas, New Year season is this the most stressful time of the year for me um, because I have so much uh, family obligations and um, and also the deadlines are absolutely the worst. So. All right, so I know in the past people have accused me of drawing Harley Quinn too thick, but I don't think so. I think Harley Quinn is a gymnast to begin with. So if you've seen like Olympic level gymnasts, they're pretty muscular. So 
So what I'm doing is um, I'm just refining the figure. Once I have the general shape down, I start refining. That's re that's this is where your anatomy, your sense of anatomy, and uh, knowledge of the anatomy comes in handy. Uh, All right, so here I am so far. Okay, so this midsection is a tricky part because you want to give her like an hourglass figure, and also um, figure out how the the how how the side and the the her butt will kind of like um, will look once it's in a sitting position. So. Okay. That is correct. The Christmas time is very stressful. I mean, you can never really rest. Uh, being a father of two daughters, it is uh, it is very stressful. Um, I really do sh need to take a real vacation. did I get for Christmas? I got a headache for Christmas. That's what I got. Um, uh, I got some books, a sweater, and a couple of movies. Very low key. Uh, everyone said I'm very hard to shop for um, because uh, because if I want something, I just I don't I don't wait for Christmas. I just buy it, you know. Why wait? Um, so. Just want to make sure that the lighting is uh, keeping an eye on the lighting because uh, I, I realized I forgot to plug in my second light. <laughs> so. I guess this is actually more popular than I thought. I mean, I'm just getting a uh, whole truckload of comments in real time. So I know that people like that I, I keep drawing Harlequin in a, a classic costume. And someone actually has asked me, how come I don't draw Harley in a uh, the modern costume? Uh, because of the every because of the rotating artist, uh, all the every artist is doing their own version of Harley, so she doesn't have a standard costume. I feel so. And also, I really enjoy the classic costume better than the new costume. Um, it is after a comic book, so you want a very distinct costume. And I thought uh, um, Bruce Tim did a fantastic job of uh, designing her, the original costume. So, so I actually enjoy drawing her in the original costume. Yeah, so yes, yeah, so I actually like the old costume, and and actually uh, Marvel uh, contacted me uh, recently. Um, they're bringing back the the classic uh, Spider Woman costume, 
uh, which which I thought was a great costume and uh, and then was not never a big fan of the uh, the uh, the new Spider Woman costume because it looked like uh, she looked like a bike messenger to me in that costume. And I thought the original, uh, the red and yellow costume was uh, very iconic. All right. Uh, here we go. Screwed up on her hand. I forgot to make her uh, hold a hammer. Okay, now here's here's the here's the question. Uh, I realized something as I'm drawing. Instead of her holding on to a hammer, maybe I should just have her hold on to a, eating a giant carrot. So I don't know, I'll play around with that to see which one looks looks uh, better. All right. And this is where I'm at right now. There's a slight distortion because of the because of the uh, camera. So she's sitting on a giant egg, and I think I'm gonna have a bunch of little rabbits, you know, around. Okay, so where are we on time? Okay, so it just took me about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm looking at the clock right now. So you can see how fast I draw uh, once I have the image locked in my brain. Um, I'm probably going to do a lot more polishing off camera. Uh, because uh, drawing in public is uh, it's kind of very nerve wracking. And also, I prefer to draw on my table right here. Um, so, so, what are my process? Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Norman Rockwell and uh, Linebacker, so I try to um, follow their lead and when they're doing the Saturday evening post covers. Uh, and I have a background in uh, comic strip, so I did a newspaper comic strip for five years, Liberty Meadow. So I'm actually a uh, uh, a gag writer. Uh, so I try to approach all my Harlequin as a standalone uh, joke, as a standalone uh, sight gag. So um, that's how I like to approach my drawing Harley. So since this issue, this cover is going to be uh, an April issue, I decided to draw her, you know, have some sort of an Easter, Easter motif. Uh, trying to draw a giant egg freehand is very annoying because I don't have my French curves with me. They're all back there in my drawer, uh, and I don't really want to move right now. Um, so here's me drawing her sitting on an egg. Uh, Oh, I forgot to add the bunny ears. Uh, all right. All right. So. Okay. And drawing her face is often the hardest. Uh, try to try to incorporate the 
the whimsical, the kind of the slightly craziness that is Harley. I'm actually uh, uh, a big fan of Harley, but because I'm drawing her, um, and I just saw the the new one that's coming out, the Birds of Prey, or should I call it just Harley Two? Um, that looked like a train wreck, by the way. Uh, hate her costume. Hate hate the new movie Harley costume. Um, and it, it just looks. Uh, it just looks bad. Uh, so hopefully I'm proven wrong, and it's actually a pretty decent movie. But from the trail, from the trailer that I've seen, it looked terrible. Especially our costume. Our costume is god awful bad. Um, so, so what is the thing you hate drawing most? The thing that I hate drawing most are buildings. Buildings and cars and stuff like that, mechanical stuff. That's why I, I only did, uh, what, how many issues? Four issues of Spider-Man or something like that? Because I, did, I hated drawing those damn buildings. Uh, and also the character that I hate drawing most is Iron Man. Like I said, I mean, it's just uh, just pure mechanical stuff. I mean, I can do it, but I, I'm just not a fan. I hate drawing something where you have to rule everything out, you know, in a very mechanical grid, you know, very sterile, very uh, no fun. So I'm kind of like uh, from that whole kind of the Frazetta school, the Frazetta Bernie Wrightson school, where it's just all organic creatures and stuff like that. That's my, uh, that's what I enjoy drawing the most. Uh, so yeah, I mean, although, uh, there are a bunch of options, um, there's SketchUp, whatever, and Marvel does, uh, I'm not sure about DC, I'm pretty sure DC has it too, but Marvel give you access to the, uh, the 3D, uh, models of all the buildings and cars and vehicles and all that stuff like that, but me, uh, I'm still very old fashioned, old school. So I like to draw everything by hand. And uh, I mean, I mean, you can uh, you can ha access all that program and print it out and then light box it. Um, so so everything I like to do on paper. I like to create uh, everything on paper. If it's not on paper, then I yeah you know, I don't feel comfortable. Uh, also, because like half, more than half my income comes from selling original art at this point. So, drawing things on digital, uh, well, well, basically shooting myself in the foot. All right. It's been such a crazy day. I don't even, I don't even know what time it is. It is uh, four thirty-five. Later than I thought. I thought it was like uh, three something. So here's why I'm actually working on the face right now. So. Uh, I don't read too many comics um, because of my workload. It's actually pretty funny. When I was growing up, uh, my main collecting comic period was 1983 to 1990. So I would, uh, I read everything. If you, I knew everything that was happening during that, that seven year period, you know, uh, 
And then uh, once I became a professional, I actually don't have enough time to read comics. And uh, I have no idea what's going on. And uh, it seems like uh, everyone is doing these, uh, which I hate, these uh, parallel universe, multiple universe. We're just creating a different, slightly different version of the heroes, you know, or the villains. And it's just annoying as hell. Just create a new, new hero or new villain instead of taking an established hero and, you know, change it to a woman or, you know, or something like that. Just create a brand new character. Um, so most of my art influences are illustrators, uh, fine art artists. Um, I like John Singer Sargent for painting, uh, Peter Paul Rubens painting, uh, Norman Rockwell, uh, N.C. Wyeth, uh, for black and white type stuff. Uh, actually, An Anthony Van Dyke is my favorite painter. Uh, uh, Gustav Klimt, uh, Maxwell Parrish. So a lot of my influence are outside of comics. I don't really follow too many comic. Uh, uh, I don't consider uh, too many people influencing me in comic uh, drawing, uh, except for um, the guys that I followed as a kid. Uh, who I tried to draw like were uh, um, John Buscema, uh, who was a master. Uh, Don Newton, Don Newton, I, his Batman was just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Al Williamson is a big influence on me. Uh, Frank Frazetta, uh, Bernie Wrightson. Um, actually, the guy that I really like right now is, um, I've actually loved as a kid too, is uh, Jeff Darrell. Jeff Darrell is absolutely just his stuff just blows me away every every time. Um, let's see, but yeah, so all the so when I'm in a dump where I can't, I feel like nothing is nothing is working. I look at my art books and uh, and and you know look at all the old past master to uh, to inspire me. Uh, I actually don't look at too many comics nowadays, to be honest with you. Uh, it says, hi from Brazil. Bunda! <laughs> All right. Seems like I know curse words in so many different languages from all the travels I've done. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so what was I doing? Right, rabbit years. All right. From Bulgaria, cool. Actually, I don't know any Bul Bulgarian curse words. <laughs> I think that's where I got to go next, Eastern Europe. All right. So. Okay. All right, right, rabbit ears. She looks like a Playboy bunny <laughs> with the rabbit ears. Have I thought about animating? Um, yes, but it just takes a lot of work. And um, so Sony had Liberty Meadows for uh, the option Liberty Mess for a few years. And they made a TV pilot episode. Uh, and I did a lot of the key drawings 
uh, for that episode. Um, uh, so what happened was uh, Sony being Sony, uh, typical Hollywood, uh, the ex executive that was shepherding the Liberty Meadows TV sh uh, animated show uh, left Sony. So the three guys that was uh, that were in charge of Liberty Meadows, one went to Hasbro, one went to a different company, uh, and one started his own company. And the new executive, the new Sony executive that that basically inherited all all of the the old executive's project projects, including Liberty Meadows TV show, uh, basically didn't give a sh didn't give a crap about uh, any of the project that his predecessor was working on. And so they basically shelved Liberty Meadows uh, pilot episode, um, which is a shame because the, the pilot TV show, the pilot episode was finished and they just completely shelved it and kind of forgot, for, forgot about it. And eventually after a few years, I got all the rights back and I've been just sitting on it right now um, because I have so many projects right now that, um, that I'm working on. And I know people are uh, asking me, uh, when is Liberty Meadows, will Liberty Meadows ever come back? And yes, it's, it's going to come back. Uh, right now, my plan is I have about like four creator owned projects that I need to finish. Once I finish those, then I will go back and finish Liberty Meadows since I own, uh, since I have Liberty Meadows. Uh, so that will be in hopefully in about two years two years I'll be bringing Liberty Meadows back and uh, I'll finish out the whole wedding storyline and all that, which is going to be interesting because in the last, I guess, 15 years or so that I've been working on comic books, which is like 22 pages of, uh, you have to write 22 page scripts and then suddenly switch my brain to writing 22 pages of script to um, doing four panel uh, joke gag, uh, it's going to be interesting because it's going to, I have to switch my, uh, uh, gear in my brain to, uh, to accommodate that. So anyway, so, all right. So she looks like a playboy bunny. She really does look like a Playboy bunny right now. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this cover is due Monday, and uh, I have to finish this. Um, I'm gonna try to finish finish this by Saturday morning, so that I can. Uh, it takes me about two days to do a cover, uh, a day to pencil and a day to uh, ink. But unfortunately, I had I literally have like uh, four other things that's due Monday including this so um this is one of them uh it's harlequin and this this cover is due on monday too which is a fantastic for our x-men cover for marvel so i'm going to try to knock out these two cover by monday uh, also, I have to work on the Kickstarter art book um, that is like 99% done. Uh, and uh, John Fluss, uh, my, the publisher, he is just ready to kill me right now. So, But he's in California and I'm in Maryland, so he, he has to come fly out to kill me. So, um, Which will buy me some time. Okay, I think this is a pretty good place to st stop. Uh, so, here it is. So, I'm going to stop here for now. Uh, it's been 40 minutes of drawing. And...
uh, uh, and uh, I actually have to do a couple other stuff, a couple other, uh, you know, being a father stuff. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you all for uh, watching, and um, and I will see you guys uh, later. So how do you? All right. Okay, so how do you turn this thing off? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching.